Italians pride themselves on their tasty tomatoes made in Italy. But now mafia clans in southern Italy have joined hands to get a stranglehold on the fruit and vegetable business. Eight months ago, Clemente Mazzone started up his own tomato business on a farm south of Rome. Mazzone complains bitterly about the business, saying that he can't make enough profit to meet the extensive costs. We cannot sell the products at a price which is less than what it cost us to produce. When tomatoes like those made on Mazzone's farm get to the markets, their price shoots up from 50 cents a kilo to between 2 to 6 euros a kilo. Why the dramatic increase? Italians take enormous pride in their products made in Italy, especially their exceptional food products like mozzarella, prosciutto and tomatoes. But there's another product made in Italy that does enormous damage to the Italian economy, and that's the mafia. Tomato growers lose money when their tomatoes fall into the hands of mafia clans. In May, anti-mafia investigators broke up a massive ring involving the Naples Camorra Mafia and the Sicilian Cosa Nostra Mafia around the fruit and vegetable market of Fondi, not far from Mazzone's farm. We started seeing at a certain point that the Casalese clan was working with the Sicilian Mafia, interfering on the fruit and vegetable market in Fondi, one of the biggest fruit and vegetable distributors in Italy. With the help of wiretaps, anti-mafia investigators discovered that mafia clans were controlling prices and monopolizing the transport of fruit and vegetables from the Fondi market. Police arrested 68 people and confiscated 90 million euros worth of goods and property, including a fleet of over 100 trucks. The fruit and vegetable market of Fondi is a sprawling market area with hundreds of trucks going in and out on a daily basis. Farmers bring the fresh fruit and vegetables at dawn, where they are given to distributors who weigh them and pay the farmers. The products are then put on trucks to be taken around Italy and across Europe. People who work at the market claim the talk of mafia infiltration is just a media exaggeration. But anti-mafia prosecutor Lepore says they are still watching the Fondi market, noting that in the battle with the mafia, investigators have found when they cut down 29 trees, 30 sprout up the next day. Tricia Thomas, Associated Press, Rome.